Welcome back. We are very excited because we are back with something that we're big fans of the new uh, Book of Boba Fett TV show that's out on Disney+. Plus. And we just got this in yesterday, which is the new re-armored helmet of Boba Fett. And so if you guys are watching the series, season two of The Mandalorian, or the current season of Book of Boba Fett, he has re-armored himself after getting his armor back from the Jawas. And this is the new armor. Now, what this is exactly is the Black Series, Hasbro's Black Series right here, which is the best replication of the original helmet used in the uh, TV show. And if you guys look right here, it is battery powered, which uh, we're going to put the battery in. Side shot, top of the uh, the box, and the bottom of the box, no, not really anything there. So we're going to start opening it up and see what uh, what it looks like. And we are on episode six right now of the Book of Boba Fett, which is arguably one of the best episodes in Star Wars history. There's so much that happened. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it is, for me, my favorite episode, having so many old characters come back. It's well wrapped. This is what Boba uses to aim his rocket on his back, which has a single rocket that deploys. And in the season two of The Mandalorian, he launched his uh, rocket and, and uh, killed one of the uh, spaceships. So this is what he's using. And we're going to see if that's operational. It looks like you guys can see. It almost looks like it's dirty, but it's not. That's actually the way it's supposed to be right here. Oh, look at the smudges. That's all the dirt from Tatooine. But the detail is really spot on. Um, you guys can see the... Uh, I always wondered what it was inside the helmet. Why don't we look there? Well, you guys can see the fact that there is uh, something to... Um, there's a strap inside here that you can adjust, kind of like a biker's helmet. And it's got the, uh, oh, it's got padding on the side right here. It's kind of like a foam padding top of the helmet. You can kind of see all the damage that was before in the previous. There is another version of this helmet that is not the re-armored version. Has a lot more scrapes and whatnot. And this is when he re-armored himself after getting the helmet back from the Mandalorian who actually got it from Cobb Vanth. So... We are going to put this guy on here. And there is a little uh, pin connector here, so there's going to be some electronics involved on this. There we go. And then when you hit that, the visor goes down. So you can use this targeting system. So I'm gonna put the battery in, pop this guy out here, and then we're gonna open that guy up. <laughs> Snap that guy on there, put that guy on there. Now, it does not activate. Once you hit the button, it lights up, meaning that it's going to be hard to, to show this, but if you guys can catch that, it does light up. So what I can tell you is, once you drop the visor down, light comes on, is this thing looks way better in real life than I'm sure on video, just looking at the video replay. The detail, I don't know, you know, it, it doesn't pick it up. I mean, you can kind of see little 
and it is not dirty. It is supposed to be made this way, like, uh, you know, his it's grease that he's been working on his Slave One ship or whatever he's been doing on Tatooine. The one thing about it is once you have the helmet on, you cannot see outside of this uh, piece that well because your line of sight is pretty much right in the middle where you're seeing right out here and you're not able to see out here. Uh, for whatever reason, you, you know, to track anything. The other thing I just re re realized uh, reading the instruction manual is this little piece comes off. Anyhow, we're really excited about getting this, sharing it with you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Watch Book of Boba Fett if you haven't seen the series on Disney+. Plus. It is the best series, in my opinion, if you're a Star Wars fan, because it brings in so many different characters from the past, present, and just tying in different timelines. I think there's going to be a great finale on uh, episode 7. Uh, so, anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions, let us know. And uh, we'll check you on the next episode. Yeah.